Paula from Very Chic Emporium and today's project involves a whole array of Annabelle Duke's chalk paints um, and started and was inspired by this lovely um, foil which is from Arsenal Enhancements and it's called Peacock and so this theme today is going to be all about Peacock hence my choice and I'm going to be showing you how to do some blending getting all of those colours to work together so the first thing I've got to do this morning is to clear this, clean it, give it a little rub down because there's some areas that are a little bit needing a rub down and then um, I'll get cracking with some paint and start showing you what I'm going to do when I get it further down the line. See you in a bit. So I've given the whole piece one coat of the white to kind of give it a prime really um, so that this layer will work. So as you can see I've put out four colours that are my starting point and they've each got a brush and I'm putting a little bit of each colour onto my, I hope you can see, if I move things up. I'm just randomly putting a bit here and a bit there. But I'm only working a very small area at a time. Okay. So then what I do is use a spritzer to sweat it all. This is the lovely thing about chalk paint. Annabelle Duke's chalk paint is quite thick, but it's brilliant for this because it gives you, allows you to blend it. I've just used a, a separate brush again that was dry to just smooth out and blend all those colours. Look at that. Beautiful. So I'm going to carry on in exactly the same way as what I've just shown you, adding little bits of the colours, working on a small area at a time. I will add a bit more white back into it as well. And spritzing it and then blending it with my last brush. That's basically it for now. I'm going to keep going round until I've got the whole piece looking the same. So I'll come back when I've done that. Right, so I'm just going to show you, I uh, having done all of this, um, and there's some edges that aren't properly blended yet. The, the main colour, the blues and the turquoises that I've added, has now started to dry off. So I'm adding, because I wanted to keep the centre quite white, I didn't want it to be a really dark piece, so I'm adding a bit of the white again. This is how I'm going to pull it all back together. So I use the spritzer. That. and then I've got a dry brush and I'm just using it Let's see if we can zoom in a bit now because I don't want to show these kind of edges here I want it all to look like it's gradually blended so that's how I'm pulling it back in just water and a bit of white in the middle so I shall carry on in the same fashion until it's all looking beautiful and blended. See you back in a bit. Right, new day. So I just want to show you the last stage to get to where we are now that I didn't show you. Um, we'd done the white and I blended it. Once that was all dry, I went back with just water, spraying it everywhere and using this round brush to kind of blend the areas here so that you didn't have the lines. I really like how that's turned out. So it's a bit bumpy and lumpy here and I'm going to give it a sand to smooth it all off but generally speaking that was the look that I was going for. It's really lovely blended and it's all done with this fine spray spritzer which is about a pound I think. A really good tool to use. So I'm going to give it a bit of a sand and then I've got a hand um, painted design that's going to go up the front of there so I've got to draw that out with pencil. I found a duvet cover with some peacock feathers on it that I really like the look of so I've got a picture of it and I'm going to use that picture to create my pattern up there and then fill it in with the same chalk paints and when I get a bit further down the line with that I'll show you what that looks like. See you in a bit. Good morning. So quite a lot of in progress of has been made since I last uh, saw you. And as you can see, I've, I've really cracked on with doing my design on the front. 
I didn't show you me doing this because it's quite tricky. You, you can either do it or you can't really. But what I did was I started off drawing out a rough shape and then I translated it. I could have um, scribbled on the back and traced it through. I could have used a stencil. I could have got some wallpaper. I could have got some fabric. There's probably lots of options I could have done, uh, which you could do, which would be easier than the choice that I made. But I've gone with a, a free hand and I've used a, the three colours that I used for all the blending so that it would all um, blend in. I've used a small paintbrush and water to water it down and just use it like normal artist paint. And then I've used Annabelle Duke's metallic gold paint, which is just, look, just like a dream. To pick out the peacock's main eye. So I'm quite pleased with that so far. But what I'm now going to do is move on to use this Arts Enhancements peacock foil, which was the start of the inspiration for this piece, really. Now, it looks like silver foil but it's much more durable than silver foil and you need to buy foil size you don't need to buy this brand you can buy foil size anywhere and it's a very clear sticky stuff so once I've got it set up I shall show you how I use it and I'm going to just add some shiny metallic uh, I don't know what you call feathers in to sort of bring the whole piece together and finish it off so I'll get set up and then I'll show you how we use the foil size in a bit Right, so I've got the drawers out because it's just easier to do it with gravity on my side and I've decanted some of the foil sides. It's very sticky as you can see, it's getting very gunked up. Um, and then I'm just using a little brush to paint it on in feathery strokes. It will take about five, ten minutes to go off as you like, it goes a bit tacky. And then we put the foil on, we just press the foil down and rip it off and the foil colour will stay on top of the sticky stuff, it's great. It's less messy than gold leaf and you can get this foil in lots of different colours as well. You can get it in gold and silver and titanium and copper, so it's pretty cool. And you can use the same sheet over and over because only the bit where you've that's come away will be missing from the sheet. So I've done quite a lot of little bits on it like this and I might need more but let's see some of the early bits might be sticking ready. So all you do push down like that, not even very hard. And then pull it back and you'll see very subtle. Now some of that hasn't gone off as tacky as it could have because I've been impatient but that's okay I can just wait a little bit longer and put the paper back over the top of the same area. Um, and it will stick again. Like that. Super cool stuff. You can feel it sticking. And then we've, got we've got a bit more. So I'm going to keep working on all the. It's subtle and I like that. I didn't want it to sort of stand out and be in your face, but it is definitely there and it's really pretty. So I'm going to carry on with this drawer and the other two drawers there and then we'll be at the ceiling stage and just about done. So I'll show you what it looks like when we're finished. Right, all finished. The last thing that I did that I didn't show you was finish it with um, sealer to protect it. Um, I also, that I didn't show you, used some white and a tiny few bits of pink to break up my feathery bits as well. So today's um, video was all about blending and showing you how to get the colours to blend with my trusty mister which was just perfect for this job. The chalk paint's also perfect for this job because with water it becomes really smooth and blends in together really easily. So have a go with the blending, love to see what you do with it. Thank you for watching, until next time.